nursery grows hundreds of thousands of avocado trees destined for commercial farms in South Africa and Kenya. In this video, we take you through the various stages of propagation, from germinated seedling to double grafted trees ready to be planted on the farms. Before we dive into the nursery tour, we will first explain the basic grafting technique used here. These avocado trees are propagated using the Froelich method. This is a double graft technique used by professional avocado growers to produce high quality trees. Put simply, an avocado seed is germinated. Once the seedling reaches a suitable size, the first graft occurs. A rootstock cultivar is grafted onto the seedling. These rootstock cultivars have desirable characteristics, including tolerance for certain diseases. After this graft, the plant is kept in a dark room. The absence of light causes the plant to ateliate or stretch, and it also bleaches the stems, which is the most important factor because green stems contain chlorophyll, which inhibits root development. At this time, rooting medium and hormones are applied to the bleached rootstock stem to promote root growth. After roots develop, a second grafting takes place where a scion cultivar is grafted onto the rootstocks. This scion will grow the fruit the farmer harvests and includes popular varieties like Hass and Fuerte. As the tree grows, the original seedling will die. Now that we have covered the basics of avocado propagation, let's take a look at the nursery. Here you can see the plants have undergone their first graft. The seeds are germinated in a coir-based medium. Long plastic bags are used. The bags will be unrolled as the propagation stages progress, so roots can develop later down the line. While we weren't able to see how this nursery grafts their trees, we can show you how we do it. Firstly, it is important to sterilize all your tools prior to grafting. Make sure your seedling and rootstock stems are the same size in terms of thickness. Wrap the future rootstock stem with parafilm grafting tape. We will add a link for a similar product in the description of this video. Cut the base of the rootstock stem into a wedge shape, then make a vertical cut into the stem of the seedling and insert your rootstock. Make sure both stems are in firm contact with one another and wrap the tape so it is airtight. These young trees have now progressed past the first grafting stage. Before we continue with the rest of the video, here is a quick reminder that you can find your copy of our ebook detailing all this info in the description. Please also consider subscribing and leaving us a comment. It helps us out a bunch and we are so excited to reach 100,000 subscribers with your help. Now moving back to the commercial Avo Nursery. An interesting thing to note is the pinkish tinge in the young shoots of the rootstocks. We were told that this pink tint is a good sign that these stems will grow roots later in the propagation phase. If there is no pink in the shoots, the rootstock will likely not develop roots. White bags can be used to increase humidity around the graft area on the plant, which helps guarantee chances of grafting success. In this greenhouse, a wet wall and fan system is used to maintain optimum humidity and temperature. The wet wall is found at one side of the greenhouse and the fans at the other so they can draw cool air across the avocado plants. After the first graft, the plants are transferred to a dark room for ateliation. These plants at the back have spent a few weeks in the dark room and you can see how long and pale they are. At this point, the stems are scarified, rooting hormone is applied, bags are rolled up and more coir is added so roots can start to grow on the rootstock. In the rooms where the workers need to see what they are doing, green lights can be used. Plants don't see green light, and as a result they think they're in the dark when only green light is used. After their time in the dark room comes to an end, the plants are ready for the second graft. This room has all the tools a grafter needs to work their magic. And this is what the plant looks like after their second graft. You can see how the roots on the rootstock have grown. If we take a closer look, you will also notice how a washer was placed between the original seed and the rootstock. As the plant grows, this washer will cut the seed stem from the rootstock, and only the root system from the rootstock will remain. Here, wet walls and overhead sprinklers are used to irrigate the plants and maintain ideal humidity. And now we move to the maturation greenhouse where the larger trees are kept before they are sent off to their commercial farms. Here you can see how foot baths are used at the entrance to every greenhouse. This helps control pathogen entry to the greenhouse as all footwear is cleaned in a fungicidal solution. These trees are kept in lifted baskets. This protects them from any pathogens that might be on the floor. 
Drip irrigation is also used to keep the leaves in tip-top condition. Growers use coloured tape to keep track of the cultivars for the seed, rootstock and scion for each tree. Regular checks are done to keep the larger trees from overshadowing smaller ones. This ensures growth among all trees is as even as possible. From here, trees will be sent all throughout the avocado producing regions of South Africa and some are also exported to Kenya. Thank you for watching, we hope you learned something new. Remember your copy of our ebook before you go and if you like what you saw and heard, we would appreciate a subscription. See you hopefully in the next video.